hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be teaching us how to uh, do inventory management in microsoft excel that is how you can manage inventory on excel so in this video i'm going to show you how you can manage inventory on excel now this is the schedule i have prepared product id the product name the inward quantity that is the quantity that the organization receives okay the outward quantity the, the quantity that the organization sold out this inward quantity you can liken it to purchases so the organization purchased some quantities at the beginning of the period outward quantity is the sales that they made definitely some quantities would go out quantity in stock is just the balance that remain after you have sold out what you bought so in other words quantity in stock will be inward minus household are we together then rate is the price per unit of the of the product or of the inventory then the amount is just quantity in stock multiplied by your rate then your reorder level let me take out time to explain a reorder level all right reorder level has to do with that level or quantity at which when your product gets to as a producer you are willing to place an order okay because no uh producer or no entrepreneur or no business tycoon would wait for his stock to finish in other words nobody will wait for a stock out before placing an order and this is because sometimes when you place an order um when your stock has been has been exhausted when customer comes to your shop or comes to your enterprise to purchase a product and you tell them you don't have you simply leave them disappointed and some of them may actually go to another place if that product is urgent they may actually go to another place and purchase that product and by so doing they may snatch your customers so it's always good you have a reorder level by reorder level let's say you are let's say you are um you are selling from back a or you are selling drugs in a pharmacy in a, in a in a pharmaceutical you know establishment you discover that most times those pharmacies they don't wait for their drugs to get exhausted the moment someone makes a purchase and some of them can say that okay whenever i have four drugs left i have to purchase i have to place an order or i have to purchase another drugs so that before those four we exhausted the new ones will just replace that one and it will ensure continuity of sales so one of the reasons why you need the other level is that number one it ensures continuity of sales that is before your product you you have to have a particular level of quantity and say okay maybe at 25 um, quantity at 25 quantity level whenever my product you can have a rules and regulation you can say that whenever my product gets to 25 quantity i'll be willing to place an order you understand so that's why we call it the real dial level for those of us that are cost accountants even those of us that are not cost accountants those of us that are not accounting students we understand that every business have a real dial level even your normal market to mean they have a they have they have if they have a real order level whenever they see that their product is being getting exhausted they have a particular level that okay whenever my product is remaining 10 i have to place an order so because all these things it ensures that you don't lose customer it ensures that you don't lose revenue and it ensures continuity of sales so in this video i'm going to show you how you can manage inventory a simple way because there are also some advanced advanced way we can manage inventory but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to take it simple because i understand that not everybody have advanced advanced excel knowledge so i just want to show you a simple way you can manage inventory using microsoft excel so this is the product id the product id of your organization can be different this is the product name this is the inward quantity so the quantity in stock is just the amount that you bought that is inward minus the amount that you have sold so that is outward so it's equals to you tap on this place inward that is inward minus then you tap on this place outward then you press enter you see that's the answer then you just left click and you drag to fill the rest so it means that in this organization they bought inward they bought 150 and they sold 125 so they are left with 25 in this one they bought 100 and they have sold 100 so they are not they are left with nothing in this place they bought 200 that is inward and they have sold 100 that means they are left with 100 i hope we get that rate is just the price per unit so item one is usually the price per unit is 1500 so how do we know the amount that the person bought so you say equals to quantity in stock multiplied by you look for your asterisk this is the asterisk on your keyboard on my own you press shift eight your own can be different so you look for your asterisk so equals to quantity in stock multiplied by rate then you press enter you see 37500 take it again equals to quantity in stock you tap on it 
multiply by then you, that is your asterisk times rate then you press enter do you get it now so it's equals to again quantity in stock multiply by your rate then you press enter so that is how you can get for your amount and when you get for one you don't need to do for everything just over your mouse around your left click and drag to fill for the rest now because this is amount i will need to you know probably put it in a dollar sign or i can put it in an error sign whichever currency that you are interested in okay so let me just say let me just use dollar for the purpose of this illustration if you have been following my video you know how you can change this to a error sign all right that depending on the country currency that you are in you know how you can change you can format this thing to a error sign i've taught you that you can check out other my videos to learn that all right now like i explained the other level is a level at which when your product gets to you are willing to make an order so in other words whenever your quantity in stock is equivalent to your reorder level it is expected that the status is that you place an order so your status is that whenever your quantity in stock is equals to your status is equals to your whenever your quantity in stock that is your your closing stock is equals to your reorder level as a wise businessman you place an order so every business has to have a reorder level that is the quantity at which they are expected to place an order for a product okay so whenever your quantity in stock is equal to your reorder level you place an order let me show us this schedule right now you see whenever your quantity in stock is equal to your reorder level is equals to if quantity in stock is equal to reorder level you reorder that is you place an order all right you place an order or you say reorder you say you can say reorder or place an order so let me let me change it to place an order all right so you, or you can say reorder place an order when your quantity in stock is equal to your reorder level you place an order now when your quantity in stock is less than look at this sign in excel it's less than reorder level it means that you are out of stock let us say your quantity in stock is 25 let's see this one for example your quantity in stock is 20 and your reorder level is uh, 50 you see quantity in stock is 20 your reorder level is 50 definitely your quantity in stock is less than your reorder level okay so that means that you are out of stock because your quantity that you are, your closing stock is 20 and your reorder level is 50 that means that you were not away on time that means that you are out of stock okay so definitely you should place an order all right and whenever your quantity in stock is greater than your reorder level it means that there is still availability of stock for example your quantity in stock is 50 your reorder level that you say that whenever you want to reorder is 10 so it means that you still have stock you can still go ahead and be selling but the moment your quantity in stock is equals to your reorder level you place another how can we draft this st status criteria on excel this is what you will do you will come here and say equals to you are going to use the if function if open a bracket if quantity in stock where is quantity in stock you tap on it if quantity in stock is greater than look for your greater than sign on your keyboard shift and your greater than sign if quantity in stock is greater than reorder level comma you open quotation you see what availability of stock so you write it availability of what of stock all right so you, cl you close your quotation comma you open another if statement again if open a bracket your quantity in stock is is less than look at the sign look at what i'm following if quantity in stock is less than then you tap on your reorder level it's less than your reorder level comma what do you say you say out of stock so you open quotation and you say out of stock make sure this out of stock is in quotation then you close the quotation you see this out of stock I, I put it in quotation because it's a text that's the law okay so you put it in quotation all right so if um quantity in store that is which is represented by e4 is is less than your reorder level which is h4 you say out of stock comma you now say if open the bracket again you tap on this place which is quantity in store that is e4 is equals to reorder level which is h4 that is e4 is, is if e4 means quantity in stock why h4 means reorder level so if 
quantity in stock is equals to the other level comma open quotation and say place and order that is you have gotten to your reorder level that is place and order so the moment that's what I've, i'm explaining the moment your quantity in stock that is your closing stock is equals to your reorder level as a businessman you need to place an order so that to avoid your stock being exhausted and customers getting disappointed when they want to come and buy a product and they cannot see it so the moment your quantity in stock is equals to your reorder level you place an order now how many brackets do we open this is bracket open one you can see it here this is bracket open two you can see it here this is bracket open three you can see it here so i'm going to close the bracket three times so i'll say close bracket one close bracket two close bracket three can you see close bracket one close bracket two three close bracket because the law in the exists that the number of bracket that you open must be equal to the number of bracket that you close so i'll just press enter so you see place an order it is correct exact is correct because this is 25 quantity in stock is 25 and the reorder level is 25 so the, the the quantity that is remaining is 25 and our reorder level is 25 so exact is telling us that the decision is that we should place an order so you just left click and drag to fill for the rest so the quantity in stock is zero the reorder level is 10 that means that we are out of stock we are out of stock because the quantity in stock is lower than our reorder level that means that we have we are we have exhausted our stock so we, we so we are out of stock so but this one at the quantity in stock is 100 your reorder level is 50 that means that we still have stock available we can still continue to sell so guys this is how you can um manage inventory in microsoft excel so i, I can also add other metrics like total total all right so i'll just bold this and um i will just i will just sum this equals to sum open a bracket tap on this place left click and drag press enter that's to get this one then left click and and drag to fill for the rest so i just total this so once i've done that i will just highlight my old data set highlight it i'm just want, i just want to format it so that it looks good i like my old data set and give it all border once I've done that, I will just highlight my old data set again. I like the total. I like the total um, row and um, go to border and choose this um, top and double bottom underline. So I'll just click on it. So the idea is that to make this one to have a double underline so that when somebody sees it, he or she knows that this is a total amount. Okay, so I'll just, I can just bold this. All right, so this one too, I can uh, give it a dollar sign since it has a dollar sign, since it's an amount, since it has a dollar sign from the onset, or you can change it to a error sign, whichever that you want. So, guys, this is how you can create an inventory management template using Microsoft Excel. Please, if you are new to this channel, go below this video. If you found this video useful, click on the subscribe button so that you will be notified when we release new videos. Okay. Thank you guys. So before we go, I have an offer for you. I have a course on Microsoft Excel where I teach people financial analysis with Microsoft Excel. Um, this one is for the beginners, beginners to intermediate, where I will teach you introduction to Excel interface. I will teach you all Excel form functions and formulas. I will teach you data analysis too, where you will learn consolidation, visualization, validations. I will teach you file encryption. I will teach you variance analysis model. I will teach you customer relationship management in Excel. I will teach you human resource management in Excel and many more. In fact, I'm going to teach you a lot, a lot of problem solving situations in Excel. And the bonus is that you will do a case study of an electrical distribution company. Yes, I'll show you that. You have lifetime access to all the videos and material you use and then you will get a certificate of participation. So all you just need to do is to message me on this number, uh, which is plus 234 eight one six nine three nine four zero one seven that's all you just need to do you just need to message me you just need to message me on zero eight one six nine three nine four zero one seven or better still i will leave a link in the description box where you would get to message me and uh, where you get to message me and make inquiries about the course in fact it's a very very useful course i've prepared on microsoft excel if you have been following my excel videos you will discover that there is a lot you can learn from me apart from these free ones you are getting from my youtube channel also in the advanced class these advanced classes where i covered a lot 
you know, advanced Excel functions and formula, performing Excel calculations in Microsoft Word. Yes, I will show you how you can do some certain calculations even on Microsoft Word. Yes, I will show you how you can do that. I will teach you data analysis to conditional formatting, visualization. I will teach you how to compute asset depreciation on Excel. Yes, and I will also teach you investment appraisal technique in Excel. I will teach you sensitivity analysis using Excel pivot tables and interactive dashboard case studies of banking power and academic industries yes we are going to cover about um, four four case studies for each and then you have lifetime access to all the videos and materials and you get a certificate of participation so tell me why you would not want to register for this training a, a lot of people have been regis registering and they have been sharing their testimony so i will leave a link in the description box click on the links and I'll see you buying my Excel course. All right, guys, so that is all on this video. Once again, if you found value in this video, click on the subscribe button. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and God bless you. Goodbye.